Hello, I am trying something a little bit different today uh, where I just have some pre-recorded footage in effort to uh, keep posting semi-frequent updates on my game development process. And this is just me doing some quick low-poly modeling for a character that I'm going to put into my game. I don't have a name for him yet, but the concept is pretty simple. He's just a fish that walks around while still wearing his fish bowl. Uh, he also has a binky in his mouth because he's a little boo-boo baby boy. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean the concept really just like it's, it's not the most creative concept in the world I, This has been done before a fish that wears its fishbowl Like I mean, I'm pretty sure literally like what chicken little might be like the subconscious seed that planted this character idea into my mind um, But I just texted my girlfriend the other day the um, Concept art that you're seeing is actually her drawings. I just texted her I want to add a character to my game That's just a fish in a fishbowl. He always wears the fishbowl. So she sent me these doodles back and I was like, okay this is perfect. I want to make this into a into a 3D model now. Um, I really like his long, stupid, <laughs> goofy legs uh, and the binky that he has in his mouth. And I think, you know, after getting these these designs back, I guess, um, and just kind of, you know, visualizing him in my universe and in in my game, which in case you don't know is a fighting game. I thought he would be like the perfect kind of joke character, right? Like a character that is made to be intentionally bad. Because, I mean, I don't know, everything there, like, seems appropriate. I have a couple of uh, characters designed already, and I'll probably throw up some graphics, or you can go watch my last video, too, where you'll get to see more of them. I have a couple of fish characters that already exist, but they, like, they're, they're, they're not in a fishbowl. They're, like, full-grown adults. They're perfectly capable of, like, walking around on land and fighting on their own or something like that. Um, but this guy, the, the binky wasn't my idea, that was my girlfriend's idea, she just threw that onto the character. Um, and that kind of came to me as like, oh, what if, like, the fish in this universe or whatever, like, they grow up, like, walking around with, like, a fishbowl on their head. Like, that's the in-world equivalent to, like, wearing braces or something. Um, and, like, because of that, he's, like, really... Uh, perceived as other characters as being like super juvenile or something like that and maybe he's like I don't know maybe he's like a middle schooler or something in a relative universe game age or whatever um, and he's just like still is walking around with a fishbowl and it's super embarrassing for him <laughs> um, and so you know like him wearing a binky and being really immature and being like a f not yet fully developed fish um, but still feeling like he fits like the art style of my game and like what I want my characters to look like Why not make him the joke character? He's like a stupid little baby boy fish I'm being so mean to him right now, but he's a stupid little baby boy fish ba baby boy fish um, And he walks around with his gangly little skinny legs and he wears this fishbowl that I'm modeling right now um, and you know it, it gives me some more fun ideas for like how to uh, bring this character to life when I add him to the game where like the fishbowl could be kind of like an indicator like a, some sort of indicator of his health you know like the more he gets hit uh, the more his fishbowl might start to crack and like leak or something like that um, and I also thought it'd be fun this was another crazy idea I don't know if I'll put this in the game but like you know how Pichu in melee um, like hurts himself whenever he uses an attack what if like he just cracks his bowl as soon as he starts using any attacks that might use his fishbowl right like he does like a headbutt or something like that and then that does damage to himself but also like since he's a fish and he needs that water what if just as soon as the fishbowl gets cracked like you, you don't just take damage you're like actually slowly dying <laughs> and like after like 20 seconds or something like that or like 30 seconds or whatever i don't know after your fishbowl cracking your stock just like you're you just die so, like, just a whole nother level of joke character, terrible character, even beyond Pichu, because, like, you were actually on a time limit. Uh, I, I would try to balance it to make it so, like, you could actually feasibly win with this guy, but, you know, I think we gotta, I think we need joke characters in our fighting games again, uh, in platform fighters at the very least, right? Um, I, I don't know what he would do yet, but, like, I'm, I'm just kind of just, like, rambling off with all the ideas that I have in like the five minutes or whatever eight minutes I guess that I recorded this footage for um, by the way I guess I should talk about like the software that also I'm doing all this modeling in after I talked about like the character so much I'm doing this all in Blockbench uh, which actually I'm pretty sure is 3d modeling software that was intended for like making models for like Minecraft mods um, but it's also just really simple and easy to use and perfect I think for like low poly modeling it is you know I mean obviously compared to like blender very scaled back in terms of uh, 
features and things that you can actually do. Like, I don't think there's really any shaders or anything like that that I can apply to the models, but since this is, you know, gonna be passed through Unity and into my games, I don't think I need any, like, shaders or anything, like, applied to the models. I just need the raw models themselves, basically. Uh, and then I can just slap the textures on them and do all the shader work in the game. Um, so, like, for... Despite it being stripped of features and, like, being very bare compared to Blender, that's kind of what I want to work in because I'm doing everything by myself when it comes to like developing this game and um, that means like I can't really be bothered to go into super deep depth of like learning Blender and uh, being able to like and just being like a really good Blender modeler right I don't know like I have ideas that I want to bring to life and I need the, the quickest fastest way to get them out there especially because remember I need to produce a game demo in like a year for my class. If you need more context on all this, you can talk. You can watch my last video. Um, but yeah, I, I felt like Blockbench was, you know, the the most reasonable tool for me to use based on like, I mean, it's robust enough. Like you can do IK um, animation, not as well as in Blender. You also can't do like uh, model deformation animation. So everything actually needs to be like rigged and boned. I'm pretty sure I can't like actually, you know, grab vertices and drag them around. Um, so like all of my characters, that's one thing that I don't love, but I, it hasn't been too much of a problem for me so far. Uh, if anything, it might just get in the way of how I can stylize my characters, which is everything needs to be on bones, right? I can't do, like I said, um, model deformations. So, like no one can have like actual noodle limbs uh, unless I break up those limbs into like a bunch of different parts. Um, I kind of skipped over the annoying part of modeling in uh, Blockbench for me, um, which is UV mapping. So if anyone out there, please, I'm not by any means like an expert 3D modeler or anything like that or animator. So if you have tips for me when it comes to Blockbench or Blender, please just let me know because I'm not beholden to Blockbench. I just think it's easy for me to use right now and it works it gets the job done but this early into the project i'm perfectly okay with like swapping over to blender um, if anyone has like some strong recommendations for me i'm open to hearing it um but please yeah like definitely give me some tips if you've ever worked with blockbench before if you worked with blender and just like give me your opinions on uh, on what i should be doing um but yeah we're coming up at the end of this modeling here so if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of like my game uh, as development progresses. This is a very like limited short video, I guess, in terms of limited in terms of concept. I'm just talking over my modeling process because, hey, I want to get into the habit again of uh, making videos and documenting also my process on this game development. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and all that. Um, definitely, please give me tips on modeling, animation, blah, 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 and all that. Uh, and just keep in mind that I got, I got, I got, I'm, I'm time crunched a little bit. <laughs> so keep everything easy for me. Keep in mind if you give me any tips that I want everything. I don't, I, I don't have time to dive into like a multi month long learning process of, uh, you know, learning Blender or anything like that. Um, whatever. I've rambled enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye.